Hello there, my lamb. I hope I did not startle you. That's right. You're dreaming right now. It is the only way I can contact you. My name is... Uh, oh, <laughs> well, thank you. But I already know your name. In fact, I know a great deal about you, as that is my job. Please allow me to explain. I am a heavenly assistant. Well, an apprentice, at least. Yes, I suppose from your perspective, the word angel is very fitting. But my existence is not something so extraordinary. Please do not dwell on it so much. As I was saying, there are many steps involved in becoming an official assistant, and one of our tasks is watching over a human's life cycle, from birth to death. I believe the point is to help us understand and appreciate the reality of your mortality, a concept that does not truly exist for us. No, I would not say that we are immortal. Eventually, even our souls will wither away and turn to dust. But that is not something we lament, fear, or dwell on, as humans do. In fact, it gives us cause to celebrate all life. And humans teach us how, through their own actions. However, I don't believe I'm very good at this assignment. We are meant to only observe, but I was not making any progress that way. I know your life hasn't been that long yet, but I figured I would have had more insight into humanity by now. Since the regular method was ineffective, I decided to use a more direct approach. Does that? Make sense? Exactly. Appearing in your dream seemed like the most suitable course of action. Now we can just talk about what it means to be human. That's so much simpler, don't you think? I even created this relaxing dreamscape to help you feel at ease. So, let's get started right away. Huh? You... I have questions... for me? I see. I suppose that is only fair. I barged into your deep sleep unannounced. Of course you'd be a little concerned or curious. Go ahead. That's a... good question. There... actually... isn't any reason for it. We're assigned randomly. But don't worry, I take my job very seriously, and will do my best to keep watch over the soul of my precious lamb. Anything else you want to know? My age? Well, it's a little embarrassing, but I'm a young and inexperienced apprentice. I... I am still only 1,018 years old, but I promise, I am very professional. <clears throat> now, I believe it is time for you to answer my questions. How about it? Thank you for going along with this. Okay, a simple question first. What is the meaning of life? Huh? It's not simple. Are you sure? Hmm. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Then, how about this? It's similar, but should be much easier. What is the meaning of your life? No, that's a completely different question. And surely you do have an answer, after all of this time. What is it that gets you out of bed? What motivates you to work so hard? Surely there is something. R really? There's nothing. The... That can't be right. I've seen it. I've seen you rise before the sun so you could travel to your place of work. I've seen you spending most of your day hidden away in your decorated cube-shaped space, diligently putting information into that electronic box of yours. And I've seen you come home exhausted from a shift full of inconvenience and irritation, yet you muster up the strength to do it all again the next day. Are you telling me... Are you telling me that there was no point to it at all? You were just... going through the motions, as they say? That's... That's... That's too sad. I was observing you this whole time, but... had no idea things were so bleak. Entering to your mind was the right call. I never would have known about this otherwise. No, please don't say this is normal. That would be too hopeless for me to bear. Now oh, I'm worried for all of humanity. Okay. Let, let's try something else. I know that right now, you're just working to survive. But... I want you to think for a moment... If you actually had time to accomplish your goals, what would they be? What would you need to accomplish to feel whole? To know that your existence matters? What things would... What things would make you feel that way? Do not hold back. Please, be honest with me. That's it. That's all you need. Just those three things? F fascinating. So, wealth, prestige, and a girlfriend would suffice to bring meaning to your life? I don't think it's silly at all. I have no frame of reference for these matters of needs and wants. Your joy has always been my only need. But I know this must be important to you, so I would never taunt you for it. I've decided. From now on, I will be more proactive and supportive. You deserve happiness, the same as all of Earth's children. And I swear to you, I will make that happen. With my support, you'll have the confidence to accomplish anything you set your mind on. Oh, you don't need to worry about how. Please, just entrust your soul and your happiness to me. W wait why are you crying? Did I say something to upset you? If so, I apologize. Tears of... joy? You mean you are crying because you are happy? I... I see. I made you happy enough to cry. <laughs> it's a strange feeling, but... I don't think I mind it. After all, your crying face, it's quite endearing. I will take my leave for tonight. Please rest well, and when we next meet, I will try to make you cry even more tears of joy. 
That's not true. I absolutely must take it seriously. As I mentioned earlier, I am a professional in everything I do. This will be no exception. Good night, my little lamb. Hello? A little lamb? I know you're in there. But I'm worried, so I'm coming in. There you are, my lamb. This room you made is quite impressive. You really have grown accustomed to lucid dreaming ever since I entered your dream last week. My lamb is truly impressive. But... Why did you lock the door? I got quite worried. It's still my job to look after you. Whether it's out there... Everywhere. I didn't want to bother you too much, but it's been a week, so I figured it was time to check up on you. Don't you think you're being a little cold? Come on, let's relax together. You can put your head on my lap. I know you enjoy media with that situation. You don't want to? But you look so agitated. I think you could really use some time to calm yourself down. After all, you're... Wait. Have you been trying to wake up this whole time? My lamb. This is our precious dreamscape. I cannot reveal myself to you in the waking world. So this is the only time we can spend together. Why would you try to cut it short? That's no good. You have to learn to be more grateful. We had so much fun this week, didn't we? I think I made a lot of progress on the things you wanted. Attaining wealth and prestige are surprisingly simple. I just had to open up a position at your workplace for a promotion, and after some gentle persuasion, they understood that you were the only choice for it. I think that was a complete success. So... Why do you look so dissatisfied? <laughs> I told you. You don't have to worry about my methods. I assure you. Your boss did not suffer. His journey to be with the Lord was quick and painless. The same goes for the other potential... candidates. I put my blessing onto every one of them before they found themselves in those tragic accidents. I understand you will be short-staffed for the time being, but isn't that the perfect opportunity to show off your appeal and earn prestige? But we don't need to leave it to chance. I can enter their dreams and make sure they all know to show you respect. Once they see what happens to whoever doesn't go along, it should work itself out. So the only thing left is finding that girlfriend you wanted. That part has been more difficult. There aren't many single women worthy of being with my precious lamb. They're just so vain and vapid. I can tell they won't cherish you. At least... Not the way you deserve to be cherished. That only leaves women who are already in a relationship. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll find one who'll be better off with you. Do you care about how many children they already have? Ah. Or should I just... Remove them as well? What are your preferences? Stop. Stop what? 
Exactly. <laughs> my little lamb, I cannot rescind my support. Turning back now would mean throwing away all the work that got us here. Are we getting close to achieving what you wanted? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Of course this is what you wanted. You said it yourself. So, how could I have made a mistake? No, I have to see this through. I will satisfy my lamb, no matter how many pigs have to pay the price. In fact, I think I've gotten the hang of it. It's a surprisingly simple task. I realise now just how frail and fleeting human life is. It can be snuffed out without a thought. Or by the absence of thought. I've studied humanity more closely this week than I ever have in my short life. And I learned something. They aren't worth it. They can be so vile, hateful, and obsessive. I pray you never have to encounter people with such traits. It's been so frustrating these past few days. Watching the way people disrespect you, or show you no regard for your well-being. But I managed to hold myself back, and show grace. That's why there were only a few accidents. There could have been so many more. Oh? You're crying again? <laughs> I get it now! You should have been more honest from the start. The truth is... You really appreciate everything I've done, and now you are crying your tears of joy once again. <laughs> Such a delightful sight. I wonder how it would feel to be baptized by them. This is all I need, to know I'm on the correct path. <laughs> no, no, no need to be shy with me. Even if you insist they are real tears, I can tell the difference. I mean, they look exactly the same as last time. My eyes would not betray me. Hmm. You seem quite adamant about this. So, these truly are not tears of joy? I see. But I'm sorry to disappoint you. That doesn't really change anything. Unfortunately for you, your crying face is adorable no matter the reason. The way your cheeks turn red. How the tears glisten on your skin. Every part of it is a miracle to behold. You truly are a sinful lamb, tempting this heavenly apprentice with your humble visage not once but twice. How can I even hope to resist? I'm supposed to be working towards your happiness, but if my failure made this possible, and maybe I had the wrong idea all along. I want it. I want to see more. Your anger. Your sadness. Show me all of it. Uh, but of course, I'm the only one allowed to make you feel that way. Any pig that dares to harm you will be risking divine punishment. <laughs> Because now I understand. I understand the meaning of your mortality. It exists. 
so that you may entertain those of us without it. <laughs> That's the only possible conclusion. Don't you agree? So, I don't think I'll be holding back anymore. I'll be embracing my true nature that I only discovered with your help. I think we will get along very well from now on. Be not afraid, my lamb. Even if you cannot see me in the waking world, trust that I am always by your side, watching over you. Always by your side. Always watching. Always. Thank you for listening to my ASMR roleplay. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and comment about what you liked best. Oh, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more. If you'd like to listen to more right away, I have a playlist dedicated to all my ASMRs for you to choose from. Please consider supporting me on my Ko-fi, and thank you to those who already have, such as Deathkill Project, and also to those who have supported me with super thanks. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.